Breaking news from SpaceX has sent shockwaves through the aerospace community as the company prepares for Starship Flight 7. At the heart of this announcement lies an extraordinary innovation, a revolutionary metal heat shield capable of withstanding temperatures up to 1500 degrees Celsius. This isn't just another incremental improvement, it's a fundamental reimagining of spacecraft thermal protection that could transform our journey to Mars. As we speak, SpaceX engineers are putting the finishing touches on Starship 5 2S33, which recently completed a crucial eight-second static fire test at the Massey testing site. This beefier, more capable version of Starship brings significant upgrades, including enhanced propellant tanks, redesigned forward flaps, and most importantly, this game-changing heat shield technology. The story behind this breakthrough is even more fascinating. During routine stress testing of the Block 2 heat shield, SpaceX engineers discovered a critical flaw that threatened to derail the entire program. What happened next showcases the incredible innovation that SpaceX is known for. Instead of just fixing the problem, they completely revolutionized their approach to thermal protection. Today, we'll take you inside this remarkable development that could make ceramic heat shields obsolete. Explore how SpaceX plans to achieve their ambitious one-hour turnaround time and reveal the unexpected crystalline structures that form during Flight 6's re-entry, a discovery that has material scientists buzzing with excitement. Let's dive right in. At the core of SpaceX's latest breakthrough lies a remarkable story of engineering ingenuity. When their team of thermal specialists began stress testing the Block 2 heat shield, they encountered what initially seemed like an insurmountable obstacle. Sensors detected critical structural weaknesses under extreme thermal loads, the kind of discovery that could bring a space program to its knees. But for SpaceX's engineering team, this crisis became the catalyst for something extraordinary. The anomaly we detected wasn't just a flaw, it was an opportunity to fundamentally rethink spacecraft thermal protection, explains Dr. Sarah Mitchell. SpaceX's lead thermal systems engineer. Working through three intense days and nights, the team didn't just solve the problem, they revolutionized it. The result? A metallic heat shield system that defies conventional wisdom. Traditional ceramic tiles, while effective, have always been the Achilles heel of spacecraft. Fragile, expensive, and maintenance intensive. SpaceX's new metallic shield changes this paradigm entirely. But how does it work? The secret lies in a sophisticated multi-layer approach that combines advanced metallurgy with innovative cooling systems. The outer layer features a specially engineered alloy capable of withstanding temperatures up to 1500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt most metals. But it's what happens beneath this layer that truly pushes the boundaries of material science. During Flight 6's re-entry, SpaceX's sensors detected something unexpected. Under intense heat, microscopic crystalline structures began forming within the steel hull, a phenomenon that actually enhanced the shield's heat resistance. This discovery, dubbed the Phoenix Effect by the engineering team, has opened up entirely new avenues for materials research. The cooling system itself reads like science fiction made real. A network of microscopic channels creates what engineers call a liquid film cooling system. Think of it as a molecular force field a thin layer of coolant that continuously circulates through the shield, carrying away excess heat. Combined with an innovative gas barrier system, it creates multiple layers of thermal protection. But perhaps the most revolutionary aspect isn't the technology itself, it's what it enables. While NASA's space shuttle required up to 80,000 labor hours between flights just for thermal protection system maintenance, SpaceX's new shield is designed for rapid turnaround. Our goal is one hour from landing to relaunch, states Marcus Rodriguez, SpaceX's operations chief. This isn't just about better technology, it's about making space truly accessible. The numbers tell a compelling story. The Space Shuttle's thermal protection system consisted of 24,000 unique tiles, each requiring individual inspection and maintenance. Starship's new system uses largely uniform tiles. Only about 100 have special shapes for areas like the nose cone. This standardization isn't just about simplicity, it's about reliability and rapid reusability. But SpaceX hasn't abandoned traditional safety measures. Beneath the primary metallic shield lies an innovative ablative layer, 
a sacrificial barrier designed to protect the spacecraft even if the primary shield is compromised. This secondary system, composed of advanced silicone felt composites, provides an additional safety margin that previous spacecraft could only dream of. The implications for Mars missions are particularly significant. When we're sending crews to Mars, we can't just hope everything works perfectly, explains Dr. Mitchell. We need redundancy, repairability, and reliability. The new shield system allows astronauts to carry spare tiles that can be easily replaced during Mars missions, a crucial capability for long-duration spaceflight. Looking ahead, SpaceX is already developing automated manufacturing systems for these revolutionary shields. We're not just building better spacecraft, we're creating an entirely new industrial capacity for space exploration, says Rodriguez. The company is establishing dedicated production facilities capable of manufacturing these advanced shields at scale, drastically reducing costs while maintaining unprecedented quality control. This advancement hasn't gone unnoticed in the aerospace community. NASA engineers have been closely studying SpaceX's innovations, particularly how they compare to the Space Shuttle's thermal protection system. While the shuttle's tiles were coated with tetrasilicon borosilicate glass, SpaceX's new system represents a complete departure from this approach. Recent testing has validated the design's effectiveness. During simulated re-entry conditions, the new shield maintains structural integrity while experiencing temperatures that would have compromised traditional ceramic tiles. The characteristic blue plasma glow observed during testing isn't just spectacular. It's a visual confirmation of the shield's superior heat management capabilities. One particularly innovative aspect is the shield's self-diagnostic capability. Embedded sensors continuously monitor thermal loads and structural integrity, providing real-time data to flight controllers and automated systems. This level of monitoring was simply impossible with previous thermal protection systems. The impact on SpaceX's Mars ambitions cannot be overstated. This new shield system is a crucial piece of the puzzle in Elon Musk's vision of establishing a sustainable human presence on Mars within 20 years. A shield that can reliably protect spacecraft through multiple atmospheric entries, both on Earth and Mars, while requiring minimal maintenance between flights is essential for regular interplanetary travel. This breakthrough also has implications beyond just SpaceX's immediate goals. The technologies developed for the shield system have potential applications in other industries, from nuclear power plant safety systems to hypersonic aircraft development. SpaceX has already filed numerous patents related to these innovations, suggesting broader commercial applications may be on the horizon. The development of this revolutionary shield system represents more than just technological advancement. It's a testament to human ingenuity and determination. What began as a potential crisis has transformed into one of the most significant breakthroughs in spacecraft thermal protection since the space age began. As SpaceX continues pushing the boundaries of space exploration, this revolutionary metal heat shield stands as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. What began as a critical engineering challenge has transformed into a breakthrough that could redefine our journey to Mars. The ability to protect spacecraft through multiple atmospheric entries while enabling rapid reusability isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a fundamental shift in how we approach space travel. The message is clear. SpaceX isn't just developing better technology, they're building the foundation for humanity's multi-planetary future. Through innovations like this advanced thermal protection system, the dream of regular Mars missions and eventual colonization moves closer to reality. This advancement marks another milestone in SpaceX's remarkable journey, demonstrating how crisis can spark innovation when met with determination and expertise. As we track Starship's continued development and upcoming Flight 7, we're witnessing history in the making. If you found this deep dive into SpaceX's groundbreaking heat shield technology fascinating, please take a moment to like this video and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for the latest updates on SpaceX's innovations in space exploration breakthroughs. Hit that notification bell to stay informed about future developments in this exciting journey toward making humanity multiplanetary. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. What aspects of this new heat shield technology excite you the most? How do you think it will impact the future of space travel? 
Join the discussion and be part of this historic moment in space exploration. In the world of space exploration, promises and reality often exist in different orbits. Blue Origin's CEO Dave Limp has been making headlines with a flurry of announcements about New Glenn's progress at Launch Complex 36. But amid the steady stream of updates, a curious pattern has emerged. The massive rocket, despite being transported to the pad a month ago for its crucial hot fire test, remains silent on the launch pad. The story becomes even more intriguing with Blue Origin's latest strategic shift. Rather than proceeding with the anticipated hot fire test, the company has announced a change in plans. Opting first for a wet dress rehearsal, a gentler but time-consuming approach that raises questions about New Glenn's readiness for its debut flight. Tonight, we're peeling back the layers of these developments, examining what's really happening at LC-36, and analyzing how these decisions could reshape Blue Origin's ambitious timeline. We'll also take a closer look at SpaceX's latest Dragon mission success, highlighting the growing gap between promise and performance in the commercial space race. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The atmosphere at Launch Complex 36 tells a compelling story. Where there should be the thunderous roar of B-4 engines during hot fire testing, there's an unexpected silence. New Glenn, Blue Origin's massive orbital rocket, stands against the Florida sky, an impressive but motionless monument to the challenges of modern spaceflight development. On December 8th, Dave Limp addressed the space community with what seemed like a straightforward explanation. Regulatory approvals were pending, a reasonable delay perhaps, except this was just the latest in a series of shifting narratives. Just two days earlier, Blue Origin had announced a significant change in strategy. Instead of proceeding with the anticipated hot fire test, they would first conduct a wet dress rehearsal, a decision that speaks volumes about the current state of New Glenn's development. To understand the significance of this pivot, let's break down what these tests actually mean for a rocket's development. A hot fire test is the ultimate proving ground. It's where the integrated rocket system faces the full fury of its engines, while remaining secured to the pad. Every component, every connection, every system must perform flawlessly under maximum stress. It's a brutal but necessary trial by fire. A wet dress rehearsal, by comparison, is like a dress rehearsal for a play where the actors never actually perform their lines. The rocket is fueled, systems are checked, but the engines remain silent. While this test is crucial, Choosing to perform it before a hot fire test represents a more cautious approach than initially planned. But there's more to this story than just test sequences. Blue Origin's teams have been repeatedly seen performing vertical stacking and unstacking operations with New Glenn at the pad, a dance that suggests ongoing engineering challenges. Each stack and unstack cycle represents hours of careful work and potential risk to the vehicle. It's not the kind of operation you perform unless absolutely necessary. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's marketing machine hasn't missed a beat. December has seen announcements about payload testing for GS-1 and GS-2 missions, updates about their drone ship preparations, and various other developments that, while important, don't address the central question. When will New Glenn actually fire its engines? If we follow the current timeline, assuming it holds, the wet dress rehearsal is scheduled for the third week of December. This leaves precious little time for the crucial hot fire test before year's end. But here's where things get even more complicated. The FAA approval process, as Limp acknowledged, isn't a simple rubber stamp operation. It involves detailed safety analyses, environmental assessments, and coordination with multiple agencies. The implications of these delays ripple far beyond Blue Origin's immediate plans. NASA's Escapade Mars mission, which operates under 